whether we even should be using that office as a bully pulpit uh, to resolve or attack some of these issues that face the city that uh, could bring the community together really uh, to solve some of these issues. So, uh, with that, I'll turn it to you. Well, b before we move away from that, Tom, um, on the drug issue, what what is it that Mayor Koch would do that uh, Mayor Phelan's not doing? One, I think there has to be an acknowledgement that we have a problem. I, you know, I don't think we've even seen that to date. Um, the mayor was asked publicly and indicated we have, there may be an issue, but there's no real problem. And the stats uh, uh, that we've heard and read about, in fact, when I first heard about the issue, was, um, it was much more um, in-depth than I had even known about. And then, of course, the hospital had a symposium, which was the first public information that come out was through that symposium about the amount of overdoses the emergency room was treating. And of course the Patriot Ledger did a series of stories on, and the, the, the numbers are pretty staggering. So I think there has to be an acceptance or acknowledgement that the city has a problem. It's not a bad thing to acknowledge we have a problem, but it's an important thing so that we can move on to tackle the problem, bring the necessary resources and people together to come up with a strategy to attack it. But still I haven't heard what is it that you would do? Okay, okay sure. You're, yeah. you're saying, yes, we have a problem. Here's the acknowledgement. Sure. Publicly, I've said a number of times. Uh, one is that the police, the drug unit itself, uh, is historically pretty low right now. It's just been brought up to five about four months ago. There were three offices in it. It's back to five. Historically, it's been as high as 12. I would double the size of the drug unit right off the bat uh, without bringing new offices on, but I would shift our resources around in the department to do that. Uh, we would need some new funding for uh, dogs. I believe we should have some canines. Uh, we have one nine-year-old dog in the city that is not trained in drug sniffing activities. Uh, a ton of branches, my understanding, has four dogs, uh, two of which are, are trained in drugs. So I, I believe we need to give double the size of the unit and give the guys the tools they need, including dogs, in this effort. Uh, for example, uh, it's been seven years since we've done a sting through our high schools. It was done on a regular basis, at least yearly, that the police department would work with the school officials and, and come through the schools using drug sniffing dogs. Uh, it sends a clear message to the kids when they're fooling around, and from time to time you did find issues that you could, you could deal with. So that'd be one part of it, policing, uh, more vigilance. Uh, I think we have to send a clear message to the drug dealers that you know, Quincy's not a place that's going to be easy for you to operate in. The second part is the, the whole um, education portion of it. And I think the, the DIA program is well-meaning, um, probably has some success, but it's clearly not enough. And uh, one of the things we talked about at the debate last week was to add a health um, curriculum in both high schools, particularly for the ninth and 10th grade levels. Um, they have DIA program in fifth grade, the program again in seventh grade. It's my understanding there are other programs in the middle school, but once they hit the high school, it stops until they do the, the prom, big show for the prom with the cracked car out front. There really are no, no day to day um, programs or curriculum. So I'd, I'd like to see a health coordinator use the high school serving the ninth and tenth graders, particularly on drug and alcohol abuse. The other part is I would call a, a public symposium, a public forum. I'd invite our educators both private and public. I'd invite our spiritual leaders. Uh, I'd invite Congressman Bill Delahunt. I think he's got a seat at the table here. Former DA has extensive experience in this. And uh, it'd be nice to have the Congressman there to, to listen to perhaps bring something to the table as far as federal resources, if that could be as well. But the fact is to bring everyone together then to come up with a strategy to attack the problem from a community viewpoint. Uh, you know, even parents need to know what to look for in the kids. Uh, you know, when I sat in with that family anonymous group and uh, one of the mothers was talking about, you know, she just had no clue. Looking back, she now recognizes there was issues, but she had no clue at the time. So I think we can educate our parents and guardians as well what to look for, what the signs are. Uh, and then, you know, we get the drugs uh, less accessible, we get the programs to keep the kids off, and then perhaps some uh, programs to help with, with treatment and so forth. I think it's a combination effort. That, you know, it's a, it's a much bigger issue than Quincy. I'm, I'm certainly aware of that, and maybe that's where Bill Delahunt uh, would be helpful because a lot of what I'm hearing is stemming from prescription drugs. 
Oxycontin seems to be the, the start of it, and then they go down the road of heroin and other things. So perhaps we need a, uh, a wake up call at the national level with some, uh, some bills or some legislation that may address some of the problematic uh, drugs that are being used by prescription form right now. The, um, the school issue, the school setting issue, is, is clearly the biggest bone of contention here um, between you and the mayor. Um, you're saying that his delay cost $46 million. He's saying that he didn't delay and that it didn't cost. I guess whichever way you look at it it, 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 it could be a matter of semantics, it could be a matter of what you believe should go through. What specifically are you saying when you're saying that his actions cost $46 million? Where do you come up with that figure? I think I've been very specific on the, on the issue. Uh, let me back up a little bit. From day one, um, the day the mayor took office, January of 02, he had the site he wanted. That's, that's the part he fails to remind people of. Um, he had the site he wanted at Faxon Field, which was determined earlier that year in the final vote of the Siting Commission after the D DPW was eliminated. Even while the DPW was on the table, there was a vote of 18 for DPW, 3 for Faxon Field. Bill Phelan was one of the three. So from early on, Faxon Field was his choice, was his choice for the site. So now he takes office in January of 02 with the site he wanted, with 90% reimbursement for the high school and 90% reimbursement for the central middle school. You know, there were those that were saying you're not going to be able to put it on facts and field because of the wetlands <coughs> issues. Uh, and I can I remember the argument and that was made in the paper that he was bringing on board a uh, city solicitor with some strong environmental background that was going to help deliver the high school site. Uh, the fact is, his plan just three years ago that he submitted to the state was an $80 million bill that the taxpayers of Quincy were going to pay $8 million for, the state picking up the $72 million. That's where I got my number from, because the high school today, his second plan, plan two, is $126 million, which is $54 million for the taxpayers of the city. That's where I get my $46 million swing. From, from the 8 to 54 is 46. Those are, those are, that's his second plan, not his first plan. And my criticism uh, is, you know, in a number of issues, but particularly this one, is, is harsh because though he didn't bring much to the table, management experience, budget experience wise. He served on the school committee for two years and had been involved in that issue pretty heavily for two years. So in my opinion, if there's anything he should have been ready to pull the trigger on when he took office was the high school and central middle school issues. And I believe he failed to do that. <coughs> 